Hi, this is Paul from paulbrubby.com. Uh, this is today's video for the ex Brad Elgo. Wanted to go through a trade on GBP US dollar yesterday. I did uh, post this uh, live as I was trading it in the Discord group for the currency signals. But I just wanted to go through for our users uh, for the future as well uh, um, the importance of these support and resistance zones and then looking for those entries. So, top of the chart here is one of my support and resistance zones from the hourly chart okay and then at the bottom we've got one here which is quite a thin one but that's a really really good uh, support and resistance zone there when we look left we can see it really does uh, really does hit it here look at this just there um, big resistance there bounces down and then it bounces down to this other one that we've got on the low here as well so these are t it, it, although this is the 10 minute time frame these uh, zones are always uh, produced on the 60 minute time frame and I am going to produce some videos on how to do that but right now I just want to go through and talk through the reasons for this trade uh, and the importance of these support and resistance zones so let's go let's talk through the behavior so the previous day we came down from the resistance zone down here and we found support overnight here on the GBP US dollar at this zone then we broke through there's a good six star sell here that was a good signal an entry for this would have been below these two pivots here so you know that sort of entry would have been good great risk reward down to this zone that was a great trade i was in bed so i didn't take it okay then we we find support we come back up we get a five star buy at 11 a.m european time this is a big data point we're not gonna buy when we have the reaction to data if the momentum continues um, from the data we get it we get another signal then we go so <clears throat> when we get the six star buy here this is the uh, signal candle we want to go along just after that signal candle because we are above all of this support from overnight okay so if I just draw this in here just to make sure you understand this was the range overnight here okay this range the, the entry, let's make that purple. The entry that we've got here, the signal, is above this range. So we, there's no real danger in there. There's a little bit here, but not a great deal. The next real danger is this resistance zone up here. The stop has to be tight here <clears throat> for me. If I get a signal that's through this uh, recent resistance zone there, I've got one red candle. I'm going to put the stop just below there. The entry is above the signal candle there. I work out my risk to reward to the next resistance zone. It is a 1 to 2.5 risk to reward. And as it happens, it went all the way to that zone. Very, very important. I am going live today on TradingView to show people how to put these zones on on the 60 minute time frames. That will be recorded. It will be on YouTube as well. And I will do plenty of more of these because with this ex Brad Algo, if you can get these zones right and you are not trading into danger when you get these signals you're going to take them because there's a lot of work behind the scenes from the algo that gives you that six star buy the criteria is so so, so stringent it's not going to print it unless it's uh, there and we've got those 12 decision points all in the green so there and then it just went so for here for me uh, when it pulled back i didn't know how uh, deep the pullback would go although we haven't reached that resistance zone I didn't want to get involved in a pullback because I was in great profit here so as it happens I put my trailing stop uh, there was going two candles behind here and then it just tipped me out and went to go and reach there but that's trading okay you can't look right you can just look left when you've got a lot of profit what 160% profit times risk or 170 on the trailing stop there that's that's a good position to take profits you don't want to take the heat on the pullback just in case there is a tweet that comes out or you know something that catalyst pulls it back down again so it's about sensibly managing these to take the maximum profit that you can yes it went higher but that's trading you cannot always get it at the heights so hopefully this helps i'll be trying to do these daily uh, and just give you examples whether it's on currencies metals indexes stocks i'm going to try and mix it up to give you lots and lots of examples